Well, turning now to some lighter news. For travelers who are curious about how modern Chinese lifestyle exists alongside the country's traditional culture, Nan Lo Guxiang in the eastern part of downtown Beijing might be of interest to them. However, local authorities have suddenly suspended its 3A rating qualification standard. And the popular tourist attraction announced it will temporarily stop receiving tour groups. A reporter Jiang Xiaoyi has more on what has led to this decision. Surrounded by traditional Chinese courtyard buildings, various food stalls, fancy art shops, boutiques with delicate souvenirs, all line this 800-meter lane, a well-trodden route which in recent years has been attracting more and more and even more tourists. Its average weekday passenger flow has surpassed 30,000, and this figure is topped off by another 20,000 on weekends. However, the district's tourism authority found that those numbers were extremely hazardous. Normally, the appropriate carrying capacity of the site should be under 17,000. We think the site is currently unsafe as a tourist attraction, so we have accepted the application from the street office and cancelled its 3A qualification. The site has also stopped receiving tour groups to curb the flow. But away from the safety concerns, the local residents feel the daily swell of tourists also impinge on their right to privacy. Many have put up signs like these, it means not open for visitors. And of course, with the large crowds came huge opportunities for many who wanted to make a fast buck. Residents soon saw high-end art shops replaced by low-end food stalls. Many believe the site lacked basic management. The lane needs to search for a better management mold in the future, especially to take into consideration the interests of nearby residents, so that the whole area can be both a space for residents and one for consumers in the future. This could also be the normal state for the development of tourism in the future. To take some of the strain off this popular lane, authorities are considering the development of similar sites in other parts of the Chinese capital. Jiang Shaoyi, CCTV.